So the Civil Aviation Authority has just released a position paper on how we get beyond visual line of sight, drone and unmanned vehicle operations, an everyday occurrence in the UK. We've come to seize AI to see what that would mean for them and what they're doing now. So beyond visual line of sight essentially will allow us to deliver drone operations at scale. Um, you know, from a, from a regulatory point of view, it was right to start with a visual approach, a visual line of sight approach with a man on site. But essentially that constrains operations to being, you know, unresponsive. Um, you know, there's, there's some risks associated with people being on site. And it's also a particularly expensive approach with no economies of scale. Beyond visual line of sight allows us to do what is currently done today, but to do it from a central command and control center. And essentially that brings big economies of scale, but it also increases uh, the quality of the mission. You know, you can consistently increase and improve how an operation is delivered. Um, you can reduce risk, so no need to ship people around, particularly, for example, oil rigs, a particularly dangerous thing to do. Essentially, the whole approach is a radically more scalable approach. So at CCI, what we do is we team a pilot that is sitting in our headquarters, which is our remote command and control center, with a drone that is highly autonomous and is uh, flying on the client site. And the drone has sensors and it uses the sensors to gather all the information about its surrounding, build a 3D map of it, and then sends all this wirelessly to the pilot so that the pilot himself can in fact feel like if he was flying on the site. So we've been here today with Seas AI, who are part of the Civil Aviation Authority's sandbox for their innovation team, really pushing technology in the UK. You can find out more about how they're taking advantage of Beyond Visual Line of Sight and our innovation work at caa.co.uk forward slash innovation.